Are you cheating with younger guys? It guys I, your age. I was cheating with the younger guys. Yeah. 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 Like uh, guys my age or even younger than me. Yeah. Hey family, a quick one. Over 87% of you are consuming this content every single week but are not subscribed. That means you are enjoying the growth conversations but you are not liking, you are not subscribing and you are not sharing it with others. So please, I plead with you, please subscribe so that you can share the love, you can share the growth and you can share this wonderful platform and wonderful safe space with others as well. Enjoy the episode. Aye, this is a super grand entrance. <laughs> <laughs> Do you always look like this? Yeah, yeah. This is this is your norm. This is me. Hi, bo. Hi, bo. Hi, 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 hi. Can you move your mic uh, just a bit closer so we can get you great there? How are you? I'm well, and how are you? I'm 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 fantastic. Um, I love how you you represent yourself with, in who you are, sure. even how you are dressed. Is is that all intentional? Uh, no, that's just me being me. That's you being yeah. you. But aren't you scared um, how people are going to perceive you? Because you know the nature of this world that we live in. Sure. Yeah. Not really. Not really. But um, I just made uh, like I just made peace with the fact that it's not everyone that's going to appreciate you the way you are. Correct. So Correct. You just need to be yourself, and yeah. that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Be before we get into that, so um, if you're new here or if you're a regular viewer. Uh, thank you, by the way, for those who have been subscribing. The subscription growth has grown massively over the past few weeks, but there's still about 72% of you who watch every single episode but are not subscribed. So please make sure that you are subscribed. Click the subscription button right now. Click, click, yes, and click the like button too. Anyway, uh, you can correct me if you don't prefer that pronoun <laughs> okay. uh, as we go along in the conversation. Who are you? What's your name? And perhaps why are you here? Okay, my name is uh, Liseho Munghaye. Liseho, yeah. Yes, and I'm just here today to share my story. Your story, yeah. yeah uh, of me being in a relationship yeah. with another guy. Okay. And also with how the community and the challenges are. Uh, that you are receiving as yeah. a uh, the yeah. gay community. Take me back. Let's go from the beginning. Um, we have time. Liseko grows up where in the country? For example, take me back to Liseko at five years old. Where were you? What was happening in your life? Okay, so I, I'm living in, at Soweto mm -hmm. uh, in a small village called uh, White City. Okay. Yes, so I grew up there. I did my schooling at uh, Ligang Primary School, then moved to Tlatuhang Secondary School, mm -hmm. and then started having some peace jobs there and there. Okay. And then, yeah, I think during the process of me growing up, it was uh, also a process where I got to meet my partner. Okay. Yeah. How old are you when you start having peace jobs? Because it seems like you are doing this because maybe the situation at home wasn't wasn't too comfortable. Okay. So obviously, the I'm, I'm assuming, Klambe, you needed money at home. You needed to put food on the table. When are you getting peace jobs and, and, and all of that? Okay, I only started working after I finished schooling. Okay. Yeah, so, but everything was just okay. I just wanted to stand up for myself. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Why not the option to further your education as in tertiary, university, college, FET college? I actually tried. Okay. I actually tried, but now uh, I was having some difficulties mm -hmm. with uh, the fundings. Okay. Yeah, so I, I was not able to go you to school. Not able to. Okay. Backtracking a bit again, you are in primary school. In primary school, does Liseko realize that he's part of the queer community or is he still in denial like like most guys? Yeah. Um, they're in the closet, they are dating girls. What's happening in primary school first and then you can take me to high school? Okay. So in primary school, uh, I actually did yes. see that there's like something wrong with me, you know, like I was not like the other guys, you know, because my interest... There was, was nothing wrong, but there was something different. Oh, sure, sure. Yes. So 
I was mostly interested in the things that the ladies used to do. So okay. I could always be around ladies mm -hmm. instead of being around gents. Mm -hmm. Although I was still dating girls, <laughs> because that's the face when we grow yeah, up, you know, yeah, trying to yeah, yeah. Uh, close ourselves, not to, for people to see, actually. Yeah. So, yeah, but it was just a if you don't, journey. If you don't mind sharing, when you are dating girls, are you emotionally connecting to them? Are you physically connecting to them? What is your experience with dating girls? All of the above. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And are you able to perform all these things even though you know that you don't belong here? Yeah, I was able to perform all of those things. Yeah. Because uh, that is the only thing that I knew. Sure, yeah, sure, so. sure. I was already like getting used to it. Yeah. Like, okay, this is how things are supposed to be. And yeah. High school? Ah, high school. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, high school, um, that's when I started actually coming out of the closet. Okay. But only for the closed ones around me. Okay. Yeah. They don't so the know. other queer community people that you know, like that's who you were telling your real life. No, I actually don't have those people out my really? circle. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, it's just me. So I was telling my 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 girlfriends okay. and the guys that I used to hang up with at school that yeah. no, this is me yeah. and whatsoever. So that's when I actually met my husband that I'm married to now. What how old are you? Now. When you meet your husband? I was twelve years old. Twelve? Yes. And you're already in high school? <laughs> yes. <laughs> how <laughs> like that. you were just smart and yeah. you, you you went to school fast yeah where do you meet him uh how did i meet him i i, I met him at his place actually so we are like going there to look for a friend you know because apparently a friend w w was ahead that he was that uh in that place mm -hmm. so now we went there to check up on him and when we got there the guy said, no, this person was here, but he's no longer here. But if he comes back, uh, I'm going to contact you guys. So who can I take his number? So I was the only one that has uh, that had a cell phone okay. in that time. So I gave him my numbers. Mm -hmm. So when time went by, the guy is no longer telling me about uh, if their friend is found or what. Now he's starting to comment on my statuses, okay. uh, asking to meet up with me. And yeah. Went on yeah, and went on. Yeah. You're still 12 then, or is it a few years later? Yeah, it, it, it was like years later. Okay, I think years like later. Two years, yeah. Okay, so this is now you're in like grade 9, 10, sure. I'm assuming. Um, how do you feel about that? Do you understand what is going on? Because in my opinion, you're still a minor, right? Sure. Do you understand what this guy, Young Shayla, he wants me on a romantic level or a sexual level? Does it make sense to you? Or is it actually like a nice feeling because for the first time you feel wanted by a man? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah it was actually a nice feeling. I really enjoyed his texts and all of that, his attention. But however, I was still not sure because firstly, he's old. Okay. So I don't know if he's there to love me mm -hmm. or he was just there to come Play around. Me, yeah, yeah. And so forth. So I was just scared. And then I was like, no, let me just give this guy a chance. Yeah. Maybe things might end up well. And they did. When do you fall in love with him? Um, during the process of me and him like speaking, uh, meeting up, we started going out on dates, and then I started falling for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is in that fourteen, fifteen phase. Yes. Okay, but um, uh, th there is also another layer where I I want to know where where's mom and dad and all of this. Are they aware that you're meeting up with an older guy and you're going on dates while you should be at school? At first, they were not aware okay. because I, I actually lived alone at the time. I was renting, yes, okay. I was renting. So I started renting when I was so young, but my parents were paying the bills. Okay. So I moved out, I was renting. So the, my parents did not really see much about my life in okay. that space because okay. I was all alone, you know. And uh, he, my dad and my mom actually later found out because I told them mm -hmm. that, guys, because... Uh, I actually never came out of the closet with them. Yeah, with them before. So that was the time when I was starting to see things that are getting serious with this guy. I was like, you know what? Mom and dad, this is me. This is how I feel. And I've already have someone that I'm seeing. And my, my mom was just cool with it. She had no problem. 
uh, about it all. But now the fact that I am dating someone that is older than me, it it, it really gave her some little disturbance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be, because of now she she was not really like she was just being protective of me. Okay, and yeah. your dad? My dad was just ah, oh, he's just a cool guy. Like he doesn't have much to say. He's just there. Would you say he was present in your life? Because it feels like there's a bit of a situation where they sent you out to be on your own at a very young age. I'm sure. sure. Probably renting a back room then. Sure. Uh, at 12, 13, 14, 15. Um, and also, why are you renting a back room at such a young age? Couldn't you wait till you were 18? No, I, I'm, I'm, the pers- I, I'm the actual person actually that wanted to move out of the house. I was... Uh, just being me, you know, so I just uh, requested for my parents to get me a back room. I don't want to be here anymore. I want my own space. I want to take responsibility. So it, it was a quite a very difficult decision for them to make. Okay. But be, be, because they they really wanted me to be happy yeah, and yeah. they just gave me. Looking that. back, do you think they are happy with the decision that they let you live alone at the age of 14? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because it, it has taught me so much responsibilities. Yeah. Yeah. So I, like, I, I, I really grew in such a short uh, period of time. Like, I was able to know that I need to, to the, the money that I get, I need to pay rent. If my parents send money for grocery, they're not buying me grocery, they send me money. So if I don't buy grocery, I go groove with that money, I know I'm not going to eat. Okay. Yeah. So it taught me a lot of responsibilities. Take me through the process after you've told your parents that you have this partner that you love and uh, what how does life continue after that like is your relationship with your partner now solidified or do you start realizing good mm, it's not the grass is not greener on the other side okay um what can i say everything has been going so smoothly uh, because I only got married last year, December. Mm-hmm. That's when I got married to this guy. And it's not just only me and the guy, but there's number three. <laughs> one, two, three. It's one, we're two, it's me. Three is the other guy. Oh, okay. Uh, so okay. I actually have a sister wife. A sister wife? Yeah. Is a sister wife male or female? <laughs> male. Male, yes. Okay. Matric, do you make it to matric and finish school successfully? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, and then you get into situations where you have funding issues, as you said. Sure. In order where you struggled to get into tertiary and all of that. Does it mean that your partner is now funding your life? Uh, not really, but I I guess so because I, I'm not bringing anything in the house. Mm-hmm. He's the one that does all of the things, like pay all the bills. Yeah, I'm just yeah, there. yeah, yeah. How you, <laughs> you are at 18, you can think back, how old is he? Huh. I'm not sure when I was 18 how old he was, but he's like 20 years older than me. 20 years older than me, than you, and you are 22 now, right? Yes. So he's 42 yes. at the moment. Um, when you look back at you guys meeting when you are 14 and you're 22 now, that means it's been eight years of the relationship. For sure. Um, has there been breaks up, breakups in the process or has it just been smooth? Because you seem to me like you're just saying it's smooth, smooth, smooth sailing, which shocks me because many of us have been in relationships and it's not always smooth sailing. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah we did break up, I think, something like four times. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's actually when he, he got the sister wife in his life to break up Yaron. So uh, me coming back to fix things with him, that's when I found out that he's actually having someone and they are now engaged, you know. But I, I, I could not back off because mm-hmm. that's the only man I love, mm-hmm. my first boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm like, no, it's fine. If we yeah. can do this, the three of us, then let us just do it. Why why break up four times and come back? Are you gonna are you able to share with us what led to all these breakups? Uh it was just a lot of things. Some of them I don't recall, but uh I was still young and remember the age gap, so we don't think alike, me and him. So he was m- more mature than me and I, I was just being acting my age. 
So at times, like, he would not find me. At times, like, I'm out with my friends. Like, it, it was just that. And obviously, some bit of cheatings there and there. But, yeah. On whose side? <laughs> On my side, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Are you cheating with younger guys? Guys I, your age. I was cheating with the younger guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like uh, guys my age or even younger than me. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, 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 there's something I'm realizing that um, th that's the reason then, then you then fought to get back into his life. It's not that he came back to find you. We actually met each other halfway. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, why do you think then that the cheating will stop now? Because I still believe you're 22 and the person sure. who's 42, there are major differences that you guys have in how you reflect on things, on how you, you deal with life situations, um, even with the maturity. Why do you think then the cheatings here and there won't happen anymore and you even took the decision to get married? Yeah, we, we never know what the future holds for us. But however, we are just hoping for the best mm -hmm. uh, because currently I don't see any need of cheating okay. uh, because I'm, I'm having everything that I want in love. Mm -hmm. So, wow. yeah, so yeah, yeah, I, yeah. there's nothing lacking. So why would I cheat? What is everything that you want in love? Mr. Like the attention, love, respect. There's just a lot. Mm -hmm. There's just a lot. Yeah. Support and yeah. Do you not think you're scared of leaving this love because it's the only form of love that you understand exists? No, actually, I'm not really scared of 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 like leaving the this love. But uh, because now that's what I want and that's what I'm having, I'm settling down for it. Okay, you're living in the moment and you're enjoying what yes. is happening in this particular in moment. This particular moment. Um. Okay. When do you realize that there's now a sister wife person? And is it during the <clears throat> excuse me, the breakup as you said? Yes, it was during the breakups. And then you were like, Yo, nya, buya, nya, <laughs> I'm coming back to fetch what's mine. <laughs> yeah. Uh so are you number one or two? And that's the second point. wife. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually know if I should say I'm number one or I'm number two because I'm, I'm I'm the one that actually met the guy first, and we dated for a long time before our breakup, and then the sister wife comes after that, and now he gets engaged before me, you okay, know. Yes. And I get engaged after him, mm -hmm. so I don't know if I'm the first wife or second wife. Who gets married first? Are you ma are you guys married yet, or are you still both engaged? We are both married. Both married. Yes. How does a queer marriage, how does a marriage of a man who has two men as spouses, how does it work? Um, is there a Libola negotiation? Is there a white wedding where people sign at home affairs? Take me through okay. that. So in our case, uh, we had to sit down and actually have a talk about it. So my sister wife, um, Fazwe Pepa, mm -hmm. and me, on Faso in Gong. Okay. So Lobola was actually paid for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, for him, it was like signing. So mm -hmm. it was like two different Makotis. Mm -hmm. paper, um, in Gong. Correct. Yes. So you customarily married. Sure. Uh, does it not make you feel like in some sort of way, your marriage is inferior because there is that perception that um, Faso paper yeah. is, is, is more important or has sure. no prestige. Yeah, it, it, to me, it doesn't really get to me, ne? Be, be, because my husband has a will. So, and I 100% I, I believe that a will can get over a pep. Mm -hmm. So, it's what my husband wants and what he thinks is best for us. Okay. So, okay. the power it's in his ball is not yeah. a court or mm -hmm. a, a home affairs. Actually, it's a will in the on yeah. what he wants in those like goods against Agalini and everything. Without giving me any names. Okay. Who is your husband? But when I say who, where does he work? What is his position in society, in the faith, in, in things like that? Who is he? Has he ever been married to a woman before? Um, because I want to see how he, he took the decision to get to where he is with you and your sister wife. Okay, so uh, what do I start? It's just a lot. My husband, uh, it's an archbishop. Of which faith? 
uh, in the apostolic churches. Okay. Yeah. So he's an archbishop. Yeah. Like he's the founder of the church. Uh -huh. And also he's a traditional healer. Uh -huh. Okay. We are all traditional healers. Okay. Anyways, yeah. And uh, he works uh, and okay, in the company that I, yeah, yeah, I yeah. can mention. And then also um, he was married to, let me think, three women. Yes. He's been divorced women. three times. Yes. Okay. So he was married to three women. And then after that, uh, he was married also to <laughs> a guy. Yeah, two guys. Not three. Three guys. He's been divorced six times. Uh, yeah. With the guys who are not actually like marriage, marriage, like yeah. happy, common, everything. Yeah, like that. Live in, so, yeah, marriage. yeah, we're engaged and it just ended like that. Okay, for the sake of the conversation, we'll say he's been divorced six times. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, I need him next on that chair. <laughs> <laughs> not a problem. <laughs> um, yeah. Jeez, that, that's so layered. So why, why do you think you're worthy to be the seventh, eighth person that he's married to and you will stay? What makes you think you've got staying power with him? Because I think I, I do understand him. I, I think I had a, a, uh, like a lot of time to actually learn him, mm -hmm. to learn what he likes, what he does not like, what triggers him and everything. And with the other uh, exes, I don't think like... I don't think they really understood him. Six times they didn't. Yes. He's, he's quite a tricky person. So you, you need to know who you're dealing with. So it's, it's not easy for a, a person to just commit to uh, a person my husband is. Uh -huh. So it, it needs you to really understand him, yes. to really know him. And then you're good to go. What are those few things that are, are different about him that you make you feel you understand him more? different about him yes those things that you think the six other people couldn't understand what are they okay firstly it's it's communication mm -hmm. like like uh, I'm, I'm that type of guy that's always here baby mm -hmm. baby like he's always concerned you know like it be worried to go to so he needs updates sure not because he's insecure about anything mm -hmm. but he needs update that okay how far are you are you still okay are you experiencing any difficulties on the way and all of that so i don't think because i don't know i was not there so i don't think uh his former partners really uh did that because it, it i think that's the main trigger to, to to him saying you know what i'm leaving this because now he feels like um was fucking king in with someone that can even say nana i just got a slow punch now i just you know if something happens he does not know about it so he wants to know if something happens he can be able to take accountability and say i know this is what happened the last time we spoke was this time and then after that and so ever so mm -hmm. for, for any uh complications that may come along the way he he wants to know okay um Archbishop, sorry, I interrupted yeah. you there. He's an archbishop. He works a normal job. You guys are, he's a traditional healer. Yes. You are also traditional healers. As you say, uh, when did you discover you have the calling? Okay. So I, 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 after I met him, actually, before we, we dated, after I met him, because I, I like met him this month and then two months later, I went Ugyo Tuasa. Okay. So, Two that's months, what, as in at the age 14, 15. Then. Yes. Okay. So uh, that's what actually took us long with the city like officially um, title mm -hmm. our, our, our relationship because being okay. after I met him, after it. So it, 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 that's why it took so long. So he had me like a and then he came to support and then. He, he, he taught me a few things after that. Whew, this is so layered because do you also feel like you connected with him because you guys understood each other at that spiritual level, Yoktoasa, and being connected to the ancestors? Yeah, I th I think so. Yeah, I, I, I think so. Because he was there with Fundisa and teaching yeah. how to do things, how to do a few things. But do you not feel like that was also an opportunity for him to use his spirituality um, to form this relationship with a young boy who may not have been ready? Not really, because I'm Okay. So I, I have my own Kobela, 
uh, which I found out later that they are actually friends. Mm. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, me coming back home after Oktosa, it was like me meeting him, like, oh, it would teach me, it would help me with some of the things because my Kobela stayed a bit far. So, with some of the things that I was not aware of or that I did not know, mm-hmm. he was there to assist me with those things. So, I don't actually think he was using that like to actually get to me but i think he was just using that as a cobella yeah, to yeah, help yeah, another yeah. uh sangoma that is struggling with some of the things so sure, sure do you think oh, oh, being gay especially to the extent where you get married and being a sangoma goes hand in hand because there's a lot of people who believe that tradition um does not allow for sure. queerness yeah that's what they say but i i i believe that uh our ancestors loves us all. They do understand us all because uh, I wouldn't be here with the calling of my ancestors uh, if Bebanga is handling to you know. So because they they still uh, bless me, I think they do understand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, do you think you've convinced yourself for them to understand or do you genuinely feel in your heart that when you connect to the ancestors that they're happy with how you're conducting your life? Uh, I genuinely feel that they do yeah. understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, Archbishop. Where does the Archbishop fit in? Because Yes. Um, how is he then also an Archbishop? Don't the two worlds can't they not coexist? Isn't it a, a conflict of interest? No, no, n- not at all. Uba Sangoma, we also do believe in God, uh, strongly so. So, um. We do pray the same Samuel, you know. So it, it doesn't really block him from being an archbishop. Mm-hmm. It doesn't really block me from going to church, you know. Mm-hmm. I can still go to church, ngi sango maso, and mm-hmm. praise God. And then it's, it's God, it's ancestors, and then it's me. Do you go to church as his wife, or are you hidden in the back seat somewhere? No, I go as uh, <laughs> I go as the more than wife because uh. The sister wife is actually the mother archbishop of the church. Njani. <laughs> <laughs> so, umfundis, you know, yes. umfundis. Okay. That's them. Yes. Okay, that's so, their... I come as, we know what umfazga umfundis, but I'm not like fully, fully into church things. Okay. Yeah. They are, they're like the leaders of the yeah, church. Yeah, they're like the leaders of the church, both my sister wife and my husband, and I'm just there coming after them. Out of curiosity, does your is your sister wife effeminate in how she presents, or are there elements in how she looks that show that she was born male? Does the church know also that she was born male? Yeah, the church know. I I, I believe everyone knows mm-hmm. that. Like he's is like a guy guy guy. Mm-hmm. Like he wear jeans. Yeah, he keep uh, caps like it's just so not even like you with this no the queen is me (laughs) (laughs) i'm the queen oh queen (laughs) yeah the queen um that is interesting because uh is the church under a certain denomination as in example is it anglican roman catholic or is it independent church it's it's an independent church like the postal church you know the blue and white Uh yeah Uh those kind of churches oh they wear that blue and white uniform yeah Interesting. So in that denomination, they are accepting of a queer leader of the church. Yes, they do. There's a lot. There's a lot. Matubo and Kibaba la sele postola, like, oh, it's a mess. There's a lot. Net drama, man. Followers in the church, I mean, what size of the church, what size of members of the church? Just make an estimate of like every Sunday, how many people are at church? Um, because days are not the same, so I'm aware a lot of at times. But if if I were to estimate like the whole number of church, I think like forty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why do you think he continues to have a church? Um, rather, this is this is unfair. Do you believe that he also believes that he has a a, a calling to be an archbishop the same way he has a calling? Yes. and that's why he pushes the church side yeah. of his life. Yeah. It's just his callings. Yeah. 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 Okay. Let's come back to the dynamics at home. Okay. Do you live together in the same house, all three of you? Um, and, and how, what is a normal day at home for you guys? 
Uh, we don't actually live like together, together, because I've got my place. Okay. Uh, but we, we spend a lot of time together. Mm -hmm. So most people think we live together because mm -hmm. we spend a lot of time together. I can just like go there for three weeks, like okay. we are together. But every day, even though I'm at my place, but I'm every day go there. You know, so you you are a second wife because when we have Agash, but they live together. What if I'm so Agash? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's say I'm a second wife. I can because they that. live together. Yeah, every day they wake up with each other in the same house. Yeah, and is it public knowledge, Uguti? You are a second wife in the community. Yeah, people actually took it like that, Uguti. This is the second wife that they call me second wife, body because mm. most of the people. They knew my sister wife before me mm -hmm. uh, because of Ushate Kala, right? Yeah. So there was the fame on that time. So me coming there asking, mm -hmm. and then yeah. I'm born, I'm born, I'm born. So they said, oh, you're the second wife. So that's how people like, actually take it. It's, it's, it's interesting because now I want to understand the dynamics. Um, you, you live in Soweto, all, of, all three of you. Yes. Um, so in within Soweto, the there's just a, an acceptance. You don't feel like you're going to or no. we are in danger or the people want to hit us or people want to harm us. Um, are there no homophobic remarks that happen because of the, the lifestyle you guys have chosen? They are actually, but uh, it's just a few. But most of the community like accept us. Uh, most of the community have really like being around us like we, we get a lot of visitors at my place from straight guys from grandmas to mothers and it's just a home of love okay so yeah that. so, so uh, everyone that's in that space mm -hmm. Sekaya, they feel love so that's why we also have a church so, yeah. so we don't actually face a lot of homophobic things that, that is interesting that in your, your in your church these people from different sectors of yeah. the community um gathered there because they love god yes uh it, do you think it's because as you're saying is that because you guys are gay and in yazo what's gay people are hurt by people so much you just lose love you just want to show others yeah. love all the time sure you know it's it's uh, you guys operate from a place where you actually you're just kind and loving yeah, to other yeah. people. Phew, I, I, the story has so many layers. Um, your sister wife, when you came back into the picture, did they try and fight you off? No, they did not. We, we actually knew each other from before. So me coming back into the relationship and finding him, it was like me finding someone that I know. Mm -hmm. And it was not really something problematic yeah, uh yeah. it was just uh him also trying to adjust to say okay now this one is back because of so someone is table mm -hmm. and it was just those faces and then they passed now, now we are like friends best friends really yeah yeah, yeah whatever <laughs> we we go out together like see two no, of them and behind like let's go yeah yeah so it's you we can, have a good relationship you can tell me if i'm crossing the line are you guys allowed to be intimate together without him present <laughs> no we are not dating. We are dating the same men. Why are you guys not dating? Because, why? <laughs> I, 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 because as jolly and we don't have like that romantic love for each other. Are you not attracted to him at all? No. Never been? Not at all. <laughs> Drunken nights? <laughs> you know it's who? Yeah. Your husband is at work? Nothing has ever happened? Nothing at all. Do you think he believes that too? Has he never felt insecure about that you guys might like each other since you guys are both younger? I wouldn't know about his feelings, ne? but I doubt. I doubt because of our relationship is just like an, an, an open relationship whereby we are able to express each other's feelings. Mm -hmm. So I, I think he would have like told me a long time ago. I'll go, I'll go even more deeper, but you can say I'm crossing the line. Okay. Um, is it because perhaps you guys are not sexually compatible in bed as the two of you, the two young ones? Uh, it's, it's, it's not about that, but it's just that 
like we don't romantically love each other so mm -hmm. we cannot be doing such things we, we, we are like sisters you understand the boundary yeah it's like I'm so yeah okay okay no that's fair I just <laughs> I just wanted to I just wanted to know it, it, it's quite interesting to me because you spoke about the cheating yeah when you were a bit younger a few yes. years ago one year two years ago <laughs> <laughs> wow and i would have thought to now that you have somebody who's good looking who's masculine in the house how, i mean how old is your sister wife uh 24 24 see yes. this is somebody who's in your age group well maybe you when nobody's watching you guys would uh, fall into the mistake of doing things together. No, I doubt. But as you insisted, it, it, it's, it's not that situation. Yeah. Um, where is your husband's family in all of this? Are they accepting or you guys have had to, he's had to remove himself from his, from his family so that he can live his truth? They are actually accepting it all. They are very supportive. They've attended our weddings, my wedding, my sister wife's wedding. They were there. No more negotiations. They were there. Yeah. So it's... Yeah, they've really accepted it. Even though we know that there's just a few of them that yeah. don't really understand, maybe rather. So, but yeah, most of the family. And how do how do arguments work? Like, for example, you are fighting with your husband. Okay. Are you allowed to vent to the other other wife and say, "Oh, indotaki angisa." Yeah, we, we do that a lot. Yeah. yeah, we do that a lot. Like, we're like, yo, I'm more than I'm clutch them, I'm more than Oprah's. And we're like, ah, he'll come back. Yeah. And yeah, and that's just how. Mm, yeah. mm, mm, mm. Do you think, fast forward 10 years from now at 32, do you believe you'd still be in this marriage and this is the man you want to spend the rest of your life with? Yes. I just hope God keeps him for me. Yo. <laughs> Yes, uh, I, I, I see myself married to the same guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my first and my last marriage. If it, this ends, <laughs> no more marriage for me. Are you scared to try again with other people? Or are you just like, I'm giving it one shot and... Yeah, it's, it's like me saying, uh, I committed to one partner. I'm not going to do it twice. Like, mm -hmm. we can be in a, a serious relationship maybe if it ends, but don't think that we are going to get married. Let's just have a long term. That's interesting. Why not? What if your new partner wants married? No, I'm already married. I can't be married twice. <laughs> <laughs> but there's divorce and start again. No, I'm not going to divorce. I'm not going to start again. Okay, maybe I might start again into a new relationship. But that doesn't mean me divorcing or me taking out my ring just because maybe my husband has passed on or we broke up. I'm going to still have my ring. Mm -hmm. Do you think, that, do you ever have insecurities on your end that your husband may be dating woman? And if he is, is it something that would bother you? I don't think so. I don't think so. As long as me and my sister have, have a good relationship and then or it's a boy or girl, I don't care. So you don't mind if he'd bring number three? If it's a girl, it's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind, honestly. I, I'm, I'm just open to it. Yeah. yeah because I, of it, it doesn't mean uh, him adding another partner, maybe things will change on us or anything like that. Mm -hmm. we, we're still going to spend time together, just like now. And mm -hmm. yeah, things will still be the same. It's just we better to the third one. Are there suspicions that there's a third one looming? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a bit. Ne? A bit. Ne, send him, send him totally against the cream. Nampe, go to Bani, Nampopola. Yeah, someone else. You. When? Conte corner. Your life has changed. <laughs> yeah, Conte corner. But yeah, yeah. Um, and, Nyam approve? Uh, as mass. Pela, I got introduced, but Nyam sold. Some solo, we're not even sure if we're calling him better, but yeah. it's just us seeing the highlights with mm -hmm. man. Conte corner. Oh, so you guys, Nisola, your husband, not that you found who number three is. No, Bengi Sola, my husband. Alone, okay. alone, not, yeah. Not but with your sister. Yeah. Trust me. How long has it been? No, no. As as guys are cool, my next. With such situations, ne, I don't think maybe. 
if I, I actually have a fight I'm about certain things or maybe I'm, I'm suspecting something, I, I don't think I should actually go and tell him because we don't handle things the same way. Mm-hmm. Uh, it might happen that unzotimi am chela, and then atatu inkuzi, and then now it's like me nang pulum shatu And as a second wife, you know people are gonna say what? Oh, one girl. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we yeah. be gang ginelu so much shafele. So it's like those boundaries that they you know. Exist, yeah, yeah. That 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 that's fair. I want to speak about you now. You, the person outside of your marriage, because I believe there is a strong individual outside of just being coupled. Um, do you, do you feel like you've relinquished all your dreams just because you found a partner who can do everything for you? And what are your dreams? Not at all, actually. Not at all, okay? M- my dreams was really getting married when I'm 21. So I first said, and finishing school, I did. And uh, feathering my, my studies, <laughs> I haven't cost the funds. But yeah, I'm just hoping one day I'll get a chance to. And also my dreams... I've got beautiful dreams mm-hmm. that seems too far for me to reach. There's no, there's no such thing as too far. You're sitting here today, really, because there's not, no such thing as too far, right? Okay, sure. This is, sure. A, this is a big platform. As you know, the day this thing airs, your phone will be blowing up, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm sure you've, you've, you've seen the platform. You've seen the people we've hosted here. So th- th- there's not a dream too big. That's sure. I'm only saying this to encourage you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. They are, what, your dreams can be realized. And I want to to see yourself outside of just being married. married yeah. yeah. Um, I just want to be a social media influencer. Mm-hmm. I want to have my own reality show. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just want to be around media. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The upcoming last season. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that, that actually makes sense. Yeah. You, you fit the profile. Yeah. I, you, look, you look the part. I got the outfit from he, him. Inspiration. Actually, yeah. He, he has the same outfit, but in black and white. Is it? So it's like silver. <laughs> <laughs> the drama in yeah, silver. silver is the color. Yeah. yeah. I'd, I'll try and connect you with him. Please. Yeah. Please yeah. do. I, he's a phone number <laughs> away. Yeah. Please, <laughs> please, please do. Yeah. Um, and he can, he can just share with you how he's built what he's built. Yeah, probably. So that you can encouragement. Encouragement yeah. so that you can build um, that for yourself too. And just bring direction into what you need to build. Um, I love asking my guests this because it's important. I know you said you speak to your ancestors, and but you also said that you pray to God. When you speak to your ancestors, or when do you, or when you pray to God, what do you mostly pray about? Yo, know, I pray about a healthy, good life. Mm-hmm. I pray about always being healthy. I pray about uh, me achieving my dreams. I pray about my family, for God to protect my family. And also the family that I'm building now. So meaning my siblings, my mom, my dad, and yeah. everyone else, and also my sister, wife, and my husband. Um, in 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 those prayers, um, does do you ever feel like you are unworthy of praying them because the pressure that society paints on you is that you are living a life of sin? Not really. I, I think I, I, I'm the one that uh, actually pressures myself. Né? So g- growing up, I, I, like I used to have some time frame that 21, I'm getting married. 23 years, I'm buying my first car. 25 years, I'll be having a reality show. So now it's time flies and I don't see most of the things happening in that time. So meaning it's limited. I have my own time that I want to actually get things. So if I don't get them, I'm, I'm like, it's, it's getting training for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, do, you, do you not have the desire to start working then? As I said, in my capacity, I will try my best to, to assist you in achieving all these other things. But just to have your own independence within the marriage, do you not feel it's important for you to get a job? Um, are you trying to get a job? Yeah, I, I was actually working sometime last year for 40 years, actually. I was mm-hmm. working for an, some insurance company. Mm-hmm. So it's just, it's just that uh, I felt like I was wasting my time. <laughs> I feel like I was wasting my time because the salary that I used to get there, it's not the salary that I actually want or actually makes a difference in the house. Uh-huh. It, it's just there for some weekend getaway. Yeah. And boom, it's gone. Just like that. So... 
and I, I I'm still not doing anything. I'm not buying any groceries. I am not uh, actually um, paying for any petrols or anything. I am just there. 4.2 yam or 4.5 yam mm-hmm. so it, it, it really doesn't do anything so if I'm, I'm i might get something that is going to be paying well i'd really also love to bring a bread into the house but that 4.2 that 4.5 that 5.5 is something that majority of south africans are earning right sure so we need to humbly respect that it's a living and it takes people to school and it puts bread on the table for many people yeah for right? many people um, so uh, 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 we can't undermine it. I'm not sure. saying you are, but it's it, it's also important for us to notice that it's a livelihood for so many people mm-hmm. that sure. matters. Which brings me to the question: Then, did you not use marriage as a stepping stone to a better life rather than working for things on your own? Ah, uh, no, I, I I did not like because I've 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 always worked for my own things. Although he's adding up on the things that mm-hmm. I've worked for, I'm still paying my rent. Mm-hmm. I am still mm-hmm. making sure that uh, my drinks are being bought by me. Mm-hmm. So I'm having my own things, but they're just not enough. Okay. So he's just adding on top of those things. I hear you. I hear you. Um, are you not scared that there is an element of you being materialistic? You being a sugar baby okay. that is dating an older <laughs> guy for money? And that all these marriage things, love things, you are using it to 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 cover up the real reason, which is you are there for the money. Okay, most people have actually assume that that okay. we are just are there for the money, uh, of which uh, I don't think it's true. It's not true, actually. It's not true because uh, me firstly meeting my husband, I did not know. He has so much. I just gave a guy a chance to love, you know? And I, I, I later on find out that, okay, he can afford this much. Mm-hmm. But that was not my intentions. I got into relationship because of love. Yes. Did you not get addicted to the lifestyle, though? You're living good now. You're living soft. Yeah, I, I can't go back. <laughs> I can't go back. No ways. I can't go back. I'm already addicted to the lifestyle. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. What is the lifestyle? Uh, the lifestyle, me waking up, uh, making our bed, eating, popping champagne, sleep, wake up, same thing over and over again. So it's like... Going out here and there. Yeah, here and there. But we hardly go out. He doesn't like going out. Yeah, he yeah, he doesn't like going out. Mm-hmm. Like We just go out there and there, just like... Buys you nice clothes. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm always an indoor person. Mm-hmm. So the only nice clothes that I have are for occasions. Mm-hmm. But I'm just on my short, my paka paka wa mi. Yeah. The gap is it's just a normal lazy day. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But you want, so you want lazy days every day. Khumunati. Yeah, khumunati. But hopo ganyari. Khumunati. Yeah. Then khumunati because like I, I, I get it next. Yeah. Like yeah. I, I get it next. Although okay, but it's something, but I think it's gonna be very challenging for now. Cause like I started to like cook. Yeah. Like, I, I take it, so, so you don't so. cook. You don't do any of that. No. What do you do? You just chill. I just look good for my husband. Well, that's a miracle. He, he loves cooking, so he's really? always cooking for me. Yeah. Oh, and your sister wife doesn't cook. He he, he does cook there and there, but my husband has the pot. Jeez, your, your husband brings in the money, buys the groceries, <laughs> cooks, drives. You at least I drive. Know. No. You don't like to drive? No. You see the queen? Yeah. <laughs> your sister wife drives at least. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, you know, Not really, but he's, he's like feminine as me, but yeah, I get like too feminine. Okay. Yeah, like, I got far, like, I must see like the long nails that I usually. Uh, Put a guy, a faggy my weave again, mm-hmm. and I mean, I'm just that extra, okay, my weave, okay. heels, and all of that. But yeah, nah, is is feminine, okay. No, 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 that, that that's fair. Uh, 15 years from now, you will be 37 years old, okay. Um, uh, are, are there kids in that picture when you think of it, and do you see kids with the same man? Uh, my husband already has kids. <laughs> Of course, he's been married. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he has five million times. Yeah, 
his kids and um i actually want to okay he, he has kids how's your relationship with the kids with the kids it's super amazing really yeah it's super amazing and for the fact that they are my peers age wise yeah so <laughs> <laughs> so yeah like the relationship is just okay they even sometimes call me mama they get they fully understand that their dad is gay yes yeah. they fully do and they're okay with it yeah they're just okay with it yeah I said how your story is interesting it's it's it's, it's quite know. late i know um i hope there is happiness in 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 in, sure. your, in your journey do, do you believe you're happy yeah i do believe that i'm happy yeah yeah do you believe that you willingly out of choice have made all these decisions to be where you are in this type of setup and that in no way was the contribution that you you started this relationship at a very young age the reason that you haven't been able to live any other life yeah i think that's my biggest fear because i actually don't know what life looks like except the life that i'm living now you know like i've i've never actually got a chance to like grow uh just like any other like people my age outside there you know like ang ang na stress so good yo meaning you go interview male taxi like yo and them popu you know like i i've never got to experience those things i've never got to grow up because before uh i, I was able to at least do it because i was having a source of income for my parents mm-hmm. so now me being like fully independent it's it's, it's my biggest fear yeah yeah, yeah. um there's a question i like um, we're nearing the end of our conversation there's a question i like to ask all my guests um and to my 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 family yeah, at, at engineer your life will kill me if i don't ask this um what's that one thing in your life you know for sure and you believe in and this doesn't have to be about your marriage or whatever but just one thing that you uh, you know for sure and you absolutely believe in i believe in self love okay yeah i believe in loving yourself I, I I'm a, I'm I'm very big on self love so I, I really uh check up on me first before someone does I actually um give myself compliments first before someone does so self love is still there and it it has helped a lot of human beings to like go through the the life journey yeah. uh Lisejo came on this platform as a person who doesn't have the run of the mill ordinary story uh Thank you Lisa for being very open with your journey with us and the audience. You have shown that life doesn't have to be monotonous. You can be you can live your different life as long as it it is your truth. Sure. Um we all make mistakes in that life sure. and thank you for sharing the mistakes that you made as well. Our lives are very different man and I hope that in this conversation there is a parent out there there is a young man out there there is an older person out there sure. who will learn that life can be different who will take lessons sure. and sure. also take the mistakes that you make and not necessarily make them and also just reflect upon their own own lives um i also hope that there will be kindness the, the ability for people to be kind to understand that yeah. people are different and for people to be more loving as they listen to this conversation so thank you so much for your time uh, as i said ngutem bisile your husband on that seat one day yeah, that day <laughs> <laughs> the show is engineer your life don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like i'm lungelo km dressed in ascend label today i'll see you on the next episode Introducing the epitome of luxury living, Galu Luxury Villas and Suites, your private sanctuary of opulence and elegance. Nestled amongst the lush, sun-kissed landscapes of Durban, KwaZulu Natal, this Galu Luxury Villa is a paradise of tranquility, offering breathtaking panoramic views of the neighborhood. Step into a world of refined luxury where every detail has been meticulously crafted to create an atmosphere of sophistication and comfort. 
This villa is kept within a gated and secure property for your peace of mind. The Kalu Villa is available for both short-term and long-term stays, making it the ideal location for your next vacation or special event. This villa boasts spacious living areas and floor-to-ceiling windows that flood the interior with natural light, making you feel at one with the surrounding beauty paired with multiple terraces, an outdoor lounge and a dining area. Live the dream, make memories and indulge in the life you deserve. Contact us today to book your stay or to learn more about this exquisite property. Your oasis of opulence awaits.